Hey there guys, Stiflex here bringing you a 5.4 gold farming guide. I'm going to show you where you can farm loads and loads of windmill cloth, ghost iron ore, and also where you can find rares, which you can easily sell on the edge. So, in this spot, you can wrap up to 10k gold, yeah, like something like 10k gold, um, while using the potion of luck, of course. Um, basically, these mogul mobs spawn at a very high rate and drop a lot of gold and often treasure chests. Um, this is why, even though if they are like three players, you can still farm them easily, well unless they are like four and five if you're in a very popular realm, then no you can't farm them here, you should look for um, other farming places, but there are many many mobs everywhere on here, so you shouldn't be worried, although this very spot is basically the best one, there are two good spots, and this one is the best one, um, anyways, um, those treasure chests, right, they can contain quite a lot of useful master chests for playing gold. Um, I've linked the wow head mob and chest drops uh, in the description below so you can see for yourself uh, what you'll be farming. Um, now the main goal here is not to just farm mats, golds and golden chests, you're going to be farming keys. So these mogul keys which can open chests are very valuable. Um, there, there are chests right below this very mountain I guess, it's in a um, temple and they have a lot of different loot. They can have loads of iron, ghost iron ore, or loads of wind wool cloth, they can have a lot of mats, um, herbs, everything, and also recipes that you haven't yet learned. For example, if you're an enchanter, you might get some recipes that you haven't learned. If you're a jewel crafter, this is especially good if you're a jewel crafter, jewel crafter you might get loads and loads of epic recipes. Well, not epic, but rare recipes. Um, I'm not really sure if they do drop rare recipes, but I'm gonna also link this, the other chest, the mogul chests, um, not the treasure chest, the mogul chests, and I'm gonna show you what they drop specifically. Now you may have noticed that I've been picking up some kind of runes of the walls. Um, th this is something that a lot of people don't really know, um, but these runes give you increased crit chance um, and increased crit damage, and these stack up to five times, which makes it farming here extremely easy, especially, especially if your initial DPS was good. Um, so, if you're, for example, a mage, you can just freaking uh, arcane explosion through all of these mobs and, and DPS them down in a few hits. Um, now, once you have at least 10 or um, like 15 of those keys, head down to the temple, uh, just go through the mobs. If you want, you can clear them there as well, but I wouldn't recommend farming down in here because. Well, there aren't too many mobs and quite a lot of people pass through this place, so... Also, there are a few um, bosses around here, you can see them on the minimap. Uh, they drop sacred veil treasure chests, which can also contain quite a lot of useful things like gold or mats or something like that. So I've been farming here as a warrior, it's pretty easy since I do have cleave abilities. If you're a mage, a hunter, a paladin or some class that would do a lot of cleave damage, this place would be ideal for you. Uh, you'd be able to DPS these mobs easily and farm way more keys than normal. Um, now you might accidentally die here. Uh, as a port warrior I had no problems with this, each time I would kill a mob I'd reheal to full HP. So if you have anything that heals, it would be ideal to use it, or use shields or something, I don't know, to, just something to get you to survive. So in the end of the temple, just follow the floor pattern and get to the warp to unlock the chests. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to rate the video and comment below and I'll see you next time.